Today we're gonna to be digging into these fat Mojo Yu-Gi-Oh figures that came out in December. Let's dig right in. What's up YouTube, Drifters Premium Collectibles here and today we are going to be reviewing the fat Mojo Yu-Gi-Oh collectible figures that they released in December. Um, these are really cool. These kind of look like the old figures we got back in the day, but they are more advanced with some features such as a dual disc and some hand gestures that you can change. And if we look at the back, we have a Joey, a Yugi, and a Kaiba figure. And today I have all three that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys. So if we look at some of the details here, I mean, it's, it's pretty insane. It's pretty insane. I, um, I think they're very detailed for the price point. Uh, if you're lucky, if you're lucky, you can find these for $14.99 at retail in Target, uh, but they've been resold on eBay as high as $40 to $50. So it's just a really insane price point. People are willing to pay whatever really for stuff that they like. So um, without further ado, we're gonna get right in and reviewing the figures. So to begin, we have the Yugi figure here, and it is by far the three the best figure. Um, the legs, just FYI, they're not posable at all between any of the three figures. Um, I feel like that would be too much to ask on a $15 figure, especially a $15 mini figure. Uh, the arms are pretty adjustable, and uh, the dual disc can be placed on either side, and uh, the hands can be changed. It comes with several sets of hands that you can use. Um, Yugi, by far, is the best looking figure, it has the most detail. And uh, it definitely, it definitely pops out the most out of the three. The next figure is Joey. And um, Joey is by far the worst of the three figures. As you can see in the video here, he kind of leans forward and is off balance because of his knees buckling like that. And uh, it's really terrible. I'm having a really hard time getting him to uh, not fall. He definitely falls a lot and it's really hard to pose him. And um, uh, they did my my man Joey so dirty, man. He's my favorite character out of the original series, and they just made a god awful figure. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Uh, it looks really good, though. I mean, I, it's not like I'm gonna like be moving my figures all the time. He's gonna be standing on a shelf, so I'll put him in a position where he doesn't fall. But you can see it right there. He just really just man. He just leans forward and he falls a lot. It's it's really terrible. It's really terrible, but it looks great. And I mean, if you're gonna pose them, it, it looks great. Like I said, the legs aren't adjustable and uh, we're gonna get some better shots for you guys here. And uh, it's just an awesome figure. I really enjoy it, but I mean, he does fall a lot. So if that matters to you, I mean, I, I definitely would not pick this up. There's probably better Joey figures out there. So that's Joey for you. The last figure here is Seto Kaiba and he, it comes in second to Yugi in terms of quality, I think. He does have a lot of detail. As you can see, he's got the little buttons on his jacket. He's wearing the card necklace. Um, he came with the most set of hands. He has more sets of hands than uh, the other two figures. He also comes with another hand that has a card in it, whereas the other figures only come with uh, extra sets of hands and none of those hands are holding cards. So Seto has two hands that can hold different sets of cards. And that's really cool about him. His coat, his outfit is all spot on from the second season of Duel Monsters. I really enjoy it. I like that look the most, even though, I mean, the purple trench coat is probably the most nostalgic that we remember. But no complaints, Seto is really awesome. I really enjoy it. And uh, he's gonna look really, really good posing next to the other two. And if that wasn't exciting enough for you, they do come with these collectible cards. Uh, the Yugi card does have a purple hollow to it and the other two don't. So it makes me wonder if you have to buy these figures over and over to get the hollow card from each character, you know, because also Kaiba is a totally old, different artwork compared to the old artworks of Yugi and Joey. So it makes me wonder um, if these cards do come in holographic because I did get the Yugi one. You can barely see it, but it is holographic. And um, I think it's just a money grab scheme to make you kind of just buy more. So there are figures for you. They look awesome. They're just beautiful. They will look good on display, whether you keep them sealed or open them up. You can simulate some duels if you buy some monsters and um, just really cool figures. I totally recommend them. Joey kind of frustrates me, but it is what it is. Um, 
Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.